Okay, this is a video I want to do with my uh, shortwave antenna. Um, like I uh, mentioned on posts on Facebook, I've made some adjustments to it. Um, as you can see, mainly it's a uh, uh, slinky that's uh, stretched across the ceiling. Here, let me uh, zoom in so you can get a better look. Um, got some piece of uh, string in it to keep it held up. There's from one end to the other. And then, that's not all there is to it. Um, for this, we've got to be a little bit closer. Forgive me if the video is shaking. I'm doing this handheld because no one in the heck would be able to do it with the tripod. So, um, i going to get very close here. Um, don't know if you can see it. It's um, some white wire um, that's attached to the. Uh, realistic DX200 and it goes all the way up here to the slinky. I got running inside the slinky and then I got running through the slinky and then where the slinky ends. Um, don't know how we can see it. It's right underneath the black wire but it goes all the way down this wall and then across that wall up to uh, uh, contrast sucks with it. There we go. Okay, so right about there, above my window. Now, some of you are probably saying, okay, why am I doing this? I know I just put up a short wave or um, outdoor antenna. Well, I don't think the landlord would really appreciate that, so I'm just sticking with an indoor antenna, and for the most part, it works. Um, but Back to this, as you can tell, there's a second uh, black wire that starts here where my realistic DX160, and same thing, it uh, it goes up to the slinky and then it goes through and goes across the wall. Um, originally, it stopped right there where that um, electrical tape is coming off the wire again. Got to fix that, but basically. That's where it originally stopped, so I had to attach that other piece, which, you know, runs across the top of the window there. And then finally, for the DX302, um, which, I don't know, okay, I think about replacing that radio, something's just not right with it. Um, or maybe try fixing it, I'm not sure, it's just not, it just doesn't seem to be receiving like it's supposed to. I don't know, maybe I can try fixing it or something, but, uh, Anywho, for that one, on the back here, it's got that, um, I believe it's known as coax, not to confuse, like the coax cable used for TV, but for radio. Um, that's attached on the back there, and that runs up to the slinky, inside the slinky, and then it goes, you know, to that end. Um, another end, it's got like these, um, I don't know what you call them, they're kind of like, I call them U-hooks. Um, basically, you remember the old TV antennas, how they had those, you know, little U-shaped like hooks and then you screwed, the, you know, attached it to the screws on the back TV. Well, I got it basically hanging onto the slinky there with this um, alligator clip, if I can only talk right, which is attached to the slinky. Um, so basically, that's my indoor antenna, the uh, the Grundig seems to run fine enough without the slinky. Um, if I do come across something, you know, it's got a weak signal, I got um, a bag full of uh, wires and alligators and clips down there on the floor, and I just, you know, attach it to an antenna on one end and clip it to the slinky on the other end. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's my uh, antenna set up for the slinky. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve this, um, I would greatly appreciate just leave it in the comments. Or if there are other kinds of, you know, other kinds of videos you'd like to see, just uh, let me know. 73.